This is a brand new DM9 and um, we're going to be talking about, uh, about the whole gun, new features it's coming with and uh, what sets it apart from other PayPal, other PayPal guns and you know from DM8 and also like we're going to have an aspect, you know, we both play paintball, we both, both play for Team Ironman, you know, how I feel about, you know, for paintball gun it's important to be accurate, you know, consistent sure. and you know, feel good and oh, of course. You know, I think in this video we're going to go over those the features and the, and the performance of the gun and, and how, how the gun reaches that level of performance that it's known for and how, you know, it, it's, one of the, it's a tool, one of the tools that we rely on the most on the field, you know, to get, to be able to perform and get the results that we do get. Yeah, like me and, me and Billy, we both play about the same spots. You know, we play in a backfield, I play back center, Billy maybe edges out a little yeah. bit more, but you know, this is our biggest tool when we play paintball it's uh the paintball gun needs to perform you know yeah. we need those accurate shots and we need to, we need yeah. to be like the tool we don't have to worry about no absolutely and, and and for me probably the biggest thing is is confidence in the equipment knowing that it's going to perform it's going to be reliable it's not going to break paint it's you know it, you're not going to run into any hiccups you know it's you know it's a well-oiled machine that you can count on and you know it gives you that co extra confidence on the field to, to 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 push it push the limit a little bit more the DM9 comes with all these little features too, like uh, adjustable clamping feed neck. You know, whatever size loader you're using, it always, you know, you can adjust it and make sure it stays tight on the gun. On-off ASA, it actually bleeds out the air right while you when you open it. Um, it also has a good stock board in it, so it, it's got all the necessary firing modes: NXL mode, PSP mode, Millennium mode, and uh, True Semi for the MPPL. Uh, it operates with a nine volt nine volt battery, and there is no wire harness or uh, wires going to the battery, so it actually connects straight to the straight to the board. DM9 still comes with the standard as a standard ultra wide barrel, 14 inch barrel uh, with the 688 back. Right, and then you can get other backs through dies from as small as 684 up to 695. Yeah, and uh, plenty of different size tips, right, too. Like yeah. From 12 plenty. inches to 18 inches. Yeah, you know. plenty of variations in the tip length. One of the features that is new to the DM9 this year is the adjustable trigger. And what we did is we actually took the trigger, made it out of two pieces instead of just one, and made it so that the blade of the trigger can actually pivot on an axis and swing either closer to the rear of the grip, grip uh, grip or swing further away depending on you know the angle that you like or how big a hands you have maybe you need a you want a longer reach or a closer reach so you can reach trigger so you can get a good rate of fire going uh, it's real simple and easy to adjust it's uh, externally adjustable there's just two screws up here uh, by the top of the trigger that you can loosen adjust the trigger to the angle you want and then tighten uh, additionally there's some uh, measurement marks right up in here so uh, you can actually kind of gauge how much you're moving it and so you can have a ref actual reference not just kind of eyeballing it from far away it's a real nice feature you know it gives a uh, gives you a lot of adjustability and you can really you know fit the gun to your personal likings really well and too. so the, on the bolt kit it was actually a, a pretty significant change we were able to do on the dm series we were able to shorten the bolt kit uh, by over half an inch which was what was able which was able to shorten the overall length of the gun by that much as well and what we did is the, uh, the chamber of air that fires the ball, we, we, sh we shortened that. And typically on a, on a spool valve gun, if you make that volume of air smaller, the pressure goes up. Well, we didn't want to sacrifice that in this gun. We didn't want to sacrifice you know, the, how soft it is on paint and everything. So what we did is we went inside the body with a, a hook tool, went in and did an undercut uh, in the body itself to compensate for that loss of volume. So we, so we were actually able to retain the same amount of volume in the gun, but shorten the bolt itself. Um, you know, talking about air, air pressure and volume, uh, one of the biggest misconceptions about the DM9 or any of the DM guns is its uh, air efficiency. Uh, you hear people complain about it all the time, but I think, I think you'll agree with this. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you can go out there with you know, out in the field and big game or anything and with, with plenty of confidence knowing that your gun, DM9 is going to shoot eight, eight pods in a hopper, uh, no problem. And if you do the math, that's, you know, 1,400 shots, you know, off a of 6845. 
So I mean, the, the guns have guns have really good air efficiency. Uh, they work, you know, operate at about 145 psi, so they're real gentle on paint. Um, you know, in, in the case that you do break a ball or you're shooting really brittle paint, uh, you know, we, we were able to incorporate uh, this new self-cleaning eye system yeah. in the gun. Uh, you want to pull that out? Uh, sure. It's uh, we had a one version in last year's model, right? Yeah. So this one is way more sophisticated. Yeah, and we it's also simple, right? Yeah, we definitely improved over the D DM8. The DM8 had uh, magnets in there and uh, loose detents that floated back and forth. And what we're able to do with this, and I'm sure you can see there, the composite plastic, uh, space age plastic, <laughs> polymer uh, uh, eye pipe has the detents um, mounted to it, so that you can't lose the detents. They're not going to fall off. They're not going to fall on the ground. They're they're secured to the the eye pipe itself, so uh, you know you don't have to worry about putting them in the right way or on the right side. And the, you know the other thing, additionally, is um, they have a lot more travel to them, and they, they protrude into the, into the breech a lot more. So you have a lot more positive uh, positive grip on the ball. You know, you're not gonna you don't have to worry about a really small undersized ball slipping past the detents or anything. So it, it's worked out really well. Uh, we've been testing it uh, on the team and in our guns for four or five months now, and uh, you know it's it's been a dream. It's just it works so good. It's so easy to clean. Even the dummies on the team who don't know how to service their guns can you know pull that out, wipe it off, clean it up, throw it back in there. You know without without any help. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's super simple. You just yeah. It's real simple. You just uh basically you just put your finger in and you pull it out. Yeah. And to put it back in, you just slide it back in. Yeah. Real and real simple and it's like It just kind of clips in place and then you know, while you're playing the barrel is what really ultimately holds it in there. And uh yeah. Cool so. thing cool thing about this whole self-cleaning I think is like you know, like every once in a while you might have broken pain in your hopper or something, you know, so instead of it doesn't go in, in the ice and, yeah. you know, you're in a, you know, a game and you're shooting fast and then suddenly your gun goes to like shoot eight balls per second, you know? Yeah. So th with this this thing, what, what, that never happens. What's nice and the way it works is the, the front O-ring on the bolt actually comes through and acts like a squeegee on the inside of that pipe, just, you know, wick, wicking away all the, all the paint that could be blocking the eyes. And we have rubber seals on the, in, on the outside of that pipe that prevent the the paint from ever actually seeping in and getting in front of the eyes. So it's it's a, it's a good system. We you know we've been working on it and refining it for a couple of years now, and I, you know I think we've really got it dialed in. It's it's a, it's a good system. Um, the other the other nice thing about it is, uh, you know, it was able to allow us to eliminate any eye plate any eye plates, <laughs> any eye plates. So uh, you know it allows us a lot more freedom and you know, to get, to get wild and get aggressive with the milling on the outside of the body. Yeah, this new milling is much more aggressive than it used to be. Yeah, you know, we used to kind of be limited where it's just real soft, you know, soft lines. And, you know, you can see now it's, you know, some pretty hard, dramatic cuts and lines there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the one thing I can definitely like, you know, it's the change. It's, it doesn't have to on off in the top anymore. So, you know, like lots of people like, but there's a big amount of people who didn't like it. So, uh, well... Yeah, you know, I mean, realistically, you know, we we didn't have any necessary problems with it. Um, it was mainly just a matter of uh, listening to our customers, listening to the people that that use our equipment, and you know, and kind of going off their cue. You know, they they felt it was an unnecessary item. You know, some O rings that could potentially go bad that didn't didn't have to be there. So we we just eliminated it. Actually, kind of simplified the gun, and uh, you know, ultimately, it's it's a more reliable system. Big things in this gun is the LPR right back here, and uh, you know, lots lots of times like people ask me, how does it work? Why is the LPR here? Why? What do you control with the LPR? How you should adjust the LPR? Sure. So, what would you say? Uh, you know, the LPR is real important. I think it's one of the things that sets the DM series guns apart from a lot of the other spool valves out there. Most spool valves don't have an LPR, uh, and in my, my personal opinion is that it's it's really an important aspect of of the gun. Uh, what it does is it lowers the operating, it lowers the pressure coming into the gun before it gets to the solenoid, and then the solenoid is actually what fires the gun. That's what cycles the bolt back and forth by transferring air uh, to the front of the bolt and either pushing the bolt back or pushing it forward. Uh, you know, and it, it's an important part of the gun because you can you can adjust just how hard the bolt cycles. You know, how much how much force ha is generated by the bolt as it comes forward. Uh, it's all adjusted by the LPR. 
yeah, like, you know, like, I like my gun to be 